rhythm is the most fundamental element of music. And being a good musician, having a mature sound, all comes down to having good time. In other words, being able to really play along with a metronome, having the stamina to do that, and uh, really letting the music flow from the earth through your instrument, right? So the important part of rhythm when it comes to being a guitarist, really, I think comes down to feel. So feels are... If you take a blues, just a, a blues in F, you can play it with a rock feel, you can play it with a shuffle feel, you can play it with a walking four sort of jazz, walking bass line feel. So the feels are what really sets apart the great musicians from the sort of mediocre musicians. Think in your mind of that great feel that Stevie Ray Vaughan has. Every different tune he plays has a different feel to it. That's a concept that really comes from the greatest ensemble players. The person that I really learned the most from might be Jack McDuff, the legendary organist. He worked with some of the greatest guitarists, Grant Green, George Benson, Pat Martino, Dave Stryker. And this is Chitlin Circuit music. This is down-home music really mixed seamlessly with the, that jazz vocabulary and that jazz mentality. Some of the things I learned from Jack McDuff really have to do with simplifying a bass line. So if I'm going to play a blues in F here, we have a bar of F, a bar of B flat 7, a bar of F9, and another bar of F9. So I'm going to use the so-called jazz changes for this F blues. So the first thing I need to do is really envision in my mind, in my soul, in my heart, beating the feel that I'm looking for. There's really two feels that we sort of go between a lot when we are talking about the jazz idiom. And that's being able to play a confident two feel and a confident four walking feel. And one of the ways that we can do that is by listening to the bass line that an organ player like Jimmy Smith, Don Patterson, John Patton, and this person I'm talking about here, Jack McDuff. So the simplified organ bass line is gonna have a lot of the root, which you'll see here on string five, and then the note five below it here on string six. So. bars of this blues, I played a bass line which really walks in a nice four feel, but it was really only using two notes, the notes F and the five of C, and then when I reach the four chord, because now I'm here on string six, I'm just going to stick with reiterating that root on string six. So this is a bass line feel that creates the momentum we're looking for and the feel we're looking for, and has a de-emphasis on the note choices we're playing. We're not playing like a real walking bass line. We're playing kind of just like roots and fifths, roots and fifths. In order to add a little more motion to my four bar chord progression, I'm going to use some half steps. This is a concept I really absorb by listening to the great jazz and blues organ players. Organ has that washy sound where they would hit these chords and it's kind of ambiguous. It's a little bit hard to tell. Are they playing, you know, some of the notes in there can blend together. And I found that we can emulate that sound on guitar by playing a half step above. So F, F sharp, F. And then see how I did a half step also into the B flat. So let me play the four bars now with that one and five bass line and also adding these half steps. string six I have my nice walk down from the notes C, B natural to B flat and that's where I land on that four chord. The best way to practice this type of feel is to almost artificially add a half step above every chord. So here we're going to walk into kind of out of the context of the tune we're going to play a half step above F. So one, one, two, of every bar, I was playing a half step above the chord I'm approaching. I can also repeat the process by playing a half step below. What I'm creating 
creating here is, again, the illusion of a walking bass line, but I'm really only using two notes. In this example, I'm using the note F, and a half step below, E natural into F. A way that I can articulate the chords to get a different feel also comes to mind here. In this example, I was playing what we might call four to the floor. In other words, I'm playing one full chord per beat. One, two, three, four. My initial example, I was alternating a bass note, alternating the bass note with the chord. One and two, three, four, one and two. Back to my original point where I said that having good time, being able to really stick with the metronome and count the beats, that's where this skill comes in. Because to play a nice convincing feel, a nice feel that other musicians want to play along with us, we have to really be able to articulate clearly every quarter note. A mistake that we make sometimes on guitar is that we sometimes are doing a lot of upstrokes, sometimes we're doing some ghost notes, and we're strumming the strings in a way that doesn't really conform with any specific feel. The feel is dictated by how many times you hit the strings per bar. If we have four quarter notes, we really only want to hit a chord one or two times within that four bar, four beat time. So the rhythm that I'm using here is one, two, three, four. Notice I'm just pumping that root note, my F. I'm going to hit the chord on the and of two. One, two, and three, four. 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 That's a variation on what we call the Charleston feel. One, two, and. One, two, and. And then to smooth over the feel a little bit more, listen to this feel. The style of the old Delta blues players that we're so you know familiar with here on guitar, we have that really pumping bass note. I'm really digging in with my thumb and I'm making sure that I'm locking in that bass note with my quarter note pulse. I'm then adding one chord hit per bar because the central focus of this feel is that flowing quarter note and I just want to punctuate with the chord hit on the exact same point in every bar. So, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. When you now put it together with the entire chord progression for the F blues, here's what we get. of my teaching method here on solid guitar is blues. If you'd like more information and more lessons on F blues, how to move some different ideas to G, B flat, and then mix them all together, please check out solid guitar. I have all the different categories and this is really a great transition point from what we're more familiar with on guitar and blues and bringing in the real jazz feels and jazz mentality. Thanks for joining me.